Hello there, in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about the group policy related video of uh, central store. I guess to start uh, administrative tools, group policy management and for example goes to default domain tool policies, this uh, is GPO, policies, administrative templates and you found the pop-up uh, message is right is there a ticker is there and that is uh, is about saying the policy definition ADMX class retried from the local machine uh, basically this ADMX file is a uh, is extension file of all the group policy objects and uh, Sometimes, for example, a particular domain uh, configure a group policy, and we saw even in the videos when we configure group policy, we found out there uh, a lot. Uh, Sometime, few policies took a lot of many time, a lot, a lot time uh, to uh, basically uh, uh, get the configuration. So it took some time, and uh, even we, for example, uh, we we put a wallpaper policy, a screensaver policy, and we found out that these policies are not able to implement uh, at a given time, and uh, might be uh, there will be the time when few uh, users will automatically will. Uh, miss out from the policy the reason because that policy not able to uh, update at, at quick time so what going to happen what going to happen that for example the policy will not able to update very quickly and for example if a domain changing wallpapers uh, quite uh, faintly uh, very, very uh, quickly at a very short amount of time then uh, might be the reason uh, that few of the users uh, computer were not able to update automatically or quickly a quick amount of time so those wallpaper were not able to change so you can see the policy definitions retry from the local machine means first will be retry from the local machines means uh, that a machine uh, will twice to uh, uh, configure the group policy from the local machine with first their preference would be local machine and not withstand central storage when that's the reason it took some time that what the changes has been made in the network uh, so first goes to uh, domain uh, so this is what we want to change is so let me close this and this very really short amount but just to change uh, central store uh, of group policy so the command uh, the path is we have to go, go to is dc1 space slash assist wall slash techengineertv.com slash policies and currently we have three policies these are the group policies uh, these two are the default one this is we made it and for example you close that or for example you create another group policy management that the policy will be increased for example once create new for example test policy okay then that path which is DC1, DC1 is our server name, and then syswall, then techengineertv.com is our domain, and the policies. So, is DC1 is the server name, syswall, and at syswall, there is a techengineertv.com, it's our domain, and for the domain, there is a policies. So, hit enter. And you can see the policy is increased. One policy is increased by A to 
B8 and this Kripasi uh, sorry Now what we need to do is just to run once again and we have to use one wildcard. So wildcard is system root. You either goes to you, by following the uh, path C drive windows. This is the path, but uh, we goes to by by wildcard percentage system root percentage. Either you give a, a path of C drive windows. So here we have to uh, find out policy definitions. So here we go, policy definitions. So what we're going to do is going to copy this, and here you have to paste it. So these are the policies of grip policy object all the policies are by default one created for example just to uh, desktop twice to open it open notepad and uh, uncheck this notepad and it's a kind of a xml program you can see it's coding a lot of big coding is so this is a big coding and to generate uh, this policy uh, you require this such a big coding like this so this is what uh, policies has made uh, so you have to just configure these policies enable disable it And every uh, file and dot ADM access is extension. I'm just to start administrative choose the policy management. Again, open any of the policies to policies and restore templates, and you can see this ticker changes policy definitions retrieved from the central store. Now, before was the local machine now this time is central store so this is how we uh, change the path uh, and uh, this is where we able to get the central store of the policy management so hope you learned something uh, about the central store of your policy objects thanks for watching